All right, on to our next one. We are now into media. Fancy. Into many war shows that you have never seen. Yep. Part. Um, I am gonna go with a protagonist of some sort. Okay. Um, although I forget what her name is at the moment. Uh, <laughs> that is the main character. Okay. And then let's do this one. Hey, that's Zach. <laughs> Why do you know Zach? <laughs> because of TikTok. Um, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> now, do you know what, where he falls on this scale, though? I always thought he was just a neutral party. <laughs> At least from, you know, the videos I've seen of Zach. Um, so what, uh, what do you want to guess him as? Let me look at Zach. Ooh, that's a good blow-up picture of him. <laughs> now I know why the girl looks familiar. Because he he's like traveling with her and she is just this running off cliffs and he's like, no, come back here. <laughs> so, so he's protagonist. He's just got very the, fucked up priorities. So in the eyes of the main characters, is a hero a villain or was there a redemption arc? An annoyance is like <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna go with, uh, technically, I don't know Good why I'm <laughs> What was that? I don't know why his name sticks with me out of all of the things. Um, <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Zach's fantastic. He's funny as shit, also, too. <laughs> also, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure his Japanese voice actor is Bob Will. Oh, I've only seen uh, the clips on TikTok are with his English voice actor, and oh my god, it's funny. Um, <laughs> but it's it's funny because, you know, as you can potentially get from his character design, um, he likes to yell, SHINE! Yeah, he's a <laughs> Shinigami. Sounds just like Bakugo. Um, she really does all crap about him, but she still sticks around him, so I'm gonna say she has a positive view of him. Or at least... It's not negative. <laughs> Would you like to know the, the concept of, of their relationship? Sure. She meets him, he nearly kills, like, is about to kill her, and she's just like, do it. Mm. And he's like, what? what? What do you mean? She's like, kill me. And he's like, no, now I don't want to. <laughs> I swear, at some point, like, in ninth grade, I had read this light novel that kind of had a very similar, like, story to this. Um, because a Shinigami finds a girl who's trying to commit suicide off of a building and decides to, like, take her under his wing and, you know, introduce her to, like, the, the rules of death and society and stuff like that. And she later becomes a Shinigami. Interesting. It was it was a fantastic light novel. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> it sounds interesting. It was really good. Like it's like one of the only light novels I've actually read. Um, it was a Japanese light novel. It was it was transcribed into English. Uh, my boyfriend at the time let me borrow it. He he had owned it. Gotcha. All right, on to the next picture. It's a potato with a shovel. <laughs> This, is this a different a different anime or S same one? Same one. Okay. Um, you know, with Zach being a main character, this is <laughs> this is honestly <laughs> conflicting. Oh, um, you never know. We could we could have a, a, a it's like a harem, but instead it's just a, a bunch of men holding weapons. 
<laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think so because I think the, the storyline focused mainly on her and Zack. Um, which reminds me, I need to watch this. Just because I want to watch Zack scream after her. <laughs> it's entertaining. It's a good show. Yes. Um, by the way, called Angels of Death. Yes. For those who don't know. Um, Alright. What is, is your... he a Shinigami? Is <laughs> the potato a Shinigami? <laughs> good guy, bad guy, what is your... What is your guess? <laughs> Uh, I feel like it's a good game. <laughs> it's All a right. potato. Uh, he is a bad guy. But the potato's a bad guy. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> That's what I thought. Like, with how fucked up Zack is. <laughs> so bad guys are gonna look like good guys. <laughs> Now you have to worry about me knowing the characters, but not the show. <laughs> you know, no. That's the downside of TikTok, apparently. Uh, and me grabbing people that you think would be attractive, because that means that you would watch them. Zach is one of them. Uh. <laughs> Alright, and this guy. Same show and different show. Same show. I think she doesn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> Is he, I don't know why, but he gives me doctor vibes. Is he a doctor? He sure is. <laughs> um, so I'd say villain just because she wants to die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you're correct about him being a villain, but uh, I mean, from what we see in the show, he is he is the villain. But there's like alluded to them having potentially of being friends at one point. Mm. Before Doctor decides to uh, be a little crazy, why does he have three irises? Uh, because he's <laughs> normally wearing contacts. He likes eyes that are weird, and her eyes are really pretty to him. Okay. So he wants them. Creepy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, I grabbed that picture while I was searching for him because I was like, ah, uh, yes. Unleashing the inner weirdo. <laughs> With a long fucking tongue. Yeah, because... You know, the animation it. style makes me think of um, Soul Eater a little. Kind of. So on to the next show. Okay. Nineteen nineties, I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. Magical girl show. No. No. Okay. No. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> I I'd say hero. <laughs> you would be correct. Um, and then this next picture is this. Um. Well, I'll show you. Is that a transformation? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is her true form. But she Why does this feel transphobic? She no, she makes herself look dainty because she doesn't want to look like that. No, but why does it feel transphobic? It's not, it's just gender dysphoria. She looks like that and she's like, fuck it, I don't want to look like that. You mean body dysmorphia, not That's, gender dysphoria. You mean, you know what I meant. <laughs> I think my brain said gender because I was just like, that's so manly looking. Like your shame is like, whoa, so manly. Yeah, and those those frilly underwear. <laughs> you gotta get your bloomers, you know. Yeah. I mean, especially if you transform, you need something that stretches. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I saw a really buff guy doing a cosplay of her <laughs> top four. And I thought it looked hilarious, but so spot on. You know, recently I watched a video of buff men trying to open a pickle jar that was super glued shut at a convention. I think one of them was wearing a pink dress. 
spoiled. <laughs> So we have that one, and there's that one. Since it's 1990s, I'm gonna go with villain just because they like to like make their villains all dark themed in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Also, Ella, did you want to know the name of both of these people? Sure. Um, the little lady is Biscuit Kruger, also known as Bisky. Okay. <laughs> this guy, um, it's, it's, I had to wait until you actually guessed, though, because his name is Frollo Lucifer. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so, <laughs> What's the anime? I, you will see. That's, Soon. Oh, okay. Soon. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I, I have three different pictures of this one person, but I'm gonna go with the normal one first. Okay. Well, I know who that is. <laughs> That's Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> and that boy is a villain. <laughs> but from the point of view of the main character? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I wouldn't necessarily call him a hero, um, but from Bill's point of view... He is not really that bad of a guy. He's just creepy as fuck. <laughs> um, from people outside of Gon's point of view, he's a villain. 100%. Uh, but from Gon's point of view, he's just kind of like... It's a weird you clown punched, guy. You, you punched me once, and now I have to punch you back. <laughs> that's... <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> Basically, with the the most vague of responses, so that nobody really knows what's happening unless they've seen it. Yeah. Um, Alright, so version two. Dear God. (laughs) Killer clown coming at you. Yeah. Um, And then version three. Ah, yes, the good picture. The good picture of Hisoka. (laughs) Him walking ass ass naked around, like... I know he was naked in several things, but he's always talking about Gon, even when he's naked. (laughs) So in this one in specific, he's just over here in, like, a river bathing, basically. And our main characters just happen to accidentally come across this river. And he just turns around, you know, stark naked, and just like, Hey, hi, how are you guys doing? He just walks yeah. over. Yeah. And we're all just like, <laughs> That's like the only really good picture of Hisoka, in all honesty. <laughs> well, so I was just like, there's normal Hisoka, and then there's Hisoka with his hair down. One Bailey would prefer. Yeah, and then there's Hisoka doing the fucking, like, Matrix bend. <laughs> With his hip animals. thrust forward. <laughs> and he groans out, Go on! <laughs> Here, let me... Oh, man. Since we went off about it for a second. I know a lot of people thirst after this clown, and I'm... Yes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know a lot of people thirst after this clown, and I do not see the appeal because, well, yes, his his thirst for Gon is about his power and such. It comes off yeah. really pedophilic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but if if Gon was like twenty years older and still had the same amount of potential, then you know he would be acting the exact same. Yep. Uh, like I said, it's like you have to know the anime to know that you know yeah. he's thirsting after his power, not him <laughs> as a child. It's like, it's like Mark. I'm not thirsting after her because she's tall. It's because of the power. <laughs> Though that is a lie with Mark. <laughs> no, no, Bailey. He's not a masochist. So he claims. <laughs> I feel like it's such a meme at this point, it's pretty much impossible to actually get a straight answer from it, because <laughs> too old now, he just... <laughs> it's just a thing. Yep. Alright, next one. Yep. No, 
not much of a difference in size there. Um, she has an upside down cross though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is this from a supernatural show? Same show. Really? This is from Hunter X? Yeah. Holy shit! Um, <laughs> the upside down cross is a little bit more concerning now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I don't think she's evil. You think that she's a like a neutral party or something? Yeah, or... I'm leaning more neutral. She is a villain. Really? She's the most normal looking villain <laughs> I've ever um, seen. Her quote unquote superpower of sorts, just to make it easier. <clears throat> She can summon a vacuum cleaner to get rid of all the dead bodies. How does a vacuum cleaner get rid of dead bodies? It sucks up everything. That's weird. She just tells the vacuum, suck up the blood, the bones, their possessions, the bodies. There you go, and she just puts it down and... That's concerning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's so unassuming, too. <laughs> You know, if I had sent you the picture of Crollo um, with his back shown to you, um, uh -huh. there's an upset cross on, the, on his back. Uh. Yes. <laughs> and then we got this little lady. She's an old lady. <laughs> uh, good person, bad person. What are we thinking? I don't know why, but she looks a little bit like Gon. <laughs> Just a little in, like, the face shape and the eyes and the hair. Mm. Though she can also look like, uh, Killua as well. But that- she's- she's old. She's- she's supposed to have white hair. Uh, <laughs> Killua, on the other hand, is young and has white hair, so it's genetic. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so what are we thinking? You know what, I'm leaning more towards <laughs> her being Kilo part of Killua's family, which makes her a villain. But is that from the main character's point of view that she's a villain? From... probably from Killua's point of view, at least, because, you know, he doesn't really like his family, but he does his job. Gotcha. Um... So, this little lady, um, is actually in her teens. She's just blind. I'm sorry, she got wrinkles and a fucking stick. <laughs> no, it's, um, uh, freckles, I believe. Oh, because she's, al she's also really for ill, so uh, she, um, that could just be... Really bad image quality, in all honesty, just because when I, like, click to zoom in, it doesn't look any different. <laughs> Let me see if there's any, uh... There. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, it's just, uh... Well, unhealthy scritches, basically. Okay. That looks a lot better. <laughs> In all honesty, it doesn't look like a fucking 80-year-old woman now. Um, yeah. I mean, but from her original picture, I can see how you'd see that. Yeah. But yeah, she is not a hero, nor is she a villain, because technically she is the hostage of the bad guy. Oh. <laughs> she's tech she's technically a hero because she made the bad guy have human emotions afterwards. Mm. Um but she also, you know quote unquote helped him, so Oh, okay. So but that's big. she was a hostage, she was basically doing this thing where he was dead, so Yeah. So I put her down as neutral. <laughs> Alright, and last person for it's a lizard man. It is a lizard man. But I feel like Killua killed. Uh, <laughs> which would make him a villain by default. <laughs> is that your final Yeah. Okay. Um, so he is... He started off as a villain. Okay. And then, as soon as he met the main characters, he became a spy. Defected. Yes. 
So Killua didn't kill him. Okay, cool. Correct. <laughs> so he is a, he's actually a deciding factor in why they were able to win their battle. Oh, fascinating. Because, as you may have been able to tell by his lizard self, he can go invisible. Ah, uh, he's a chameleon. <laughs> yes. But only for as long as he's holding his breath. Okay. So basically in increments of a minute to two minutes. <laughs> and then everyone as a child, when they're watching it, they're just like... <laughs> <laughs> trying to be like, I did it! I held my breath just as long as he did! <laughs> Alright, so on to our next anime. Woo! Woo! Oh my god. He looks adorable. I like him already. <laughs> He's, uh, would you like to know his name? It doesn't help you at all. Sure. <laughs> Amy Kiriwo. He's adorable. I love him. <laughs> he is a demon, right? Yes. Okay. Um, but that doesn't mean shit anyways, so. <laughs> because there are plenty of animes where the main character is a demon. Um, you know, that's true. I mean, Seven Deadly Sins being one of them. Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> he just seems, like, too upbeat. Like, I know some villains can, like, have these cutesy moments, but, but he's too upbeat, <laughs> in my opinion. So you think he's a, a good guy? I think he's a good guy. Um, so, technically... From the main character's point of view, he is a friend, um, but he's also a villain. He's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a foil. Something like that, yeah. Okay. It's, I mean, in the in the fact of. Sasuke and Naruto, where they were quote-unquote friends, and then, you know, Sasuke is just like, fuck you. Uh, well, Sasuke and Naruto are still friends, even in- No, the, no, but know, we haven't, we haven't gotten to the second Naruto. half of them becoming friends again. Uh, yeah. The anime's not that far yet. He's, he's and then still really got, good looking. <laughs> um, and then we've got this person. Wait, you've shown me this character before. <laughs> like outside of this game. Um this game? Yeah. Yeah. Um This is the protagonist, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. Do <laughs> you remember his name? No. <laughs> his name is Irima. Mm. Because this anime is Welcome to Demon School Irima. <laughs> Um, and then we've got this one. Is that just Irma in a girl outfit? It sure is! <laughs> <laughs> and then we got this one. Irma being a badass. Yeah. <laughs> the many sides of Irma. Though he looks a little bit older in this picture. That's just how... It's just the style. Him. Okay. Evil cycle came so late, left so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the comments was just like, "Yes, evil Irima!" Woo! They're like, "Where do you believe our Irima go?" <laughs> <laughs> well, because the difference is main main personality Irima is very uh, pushover in mm -hmm. uh, personality, and then evil Irima is, "I'll still help you out, but I'm gonna get my way." <laughs> Uh, so everyone's just like, we still get- we get both to both worlds! It's no longer being trampled over! <laughs> Alright, so that is all I had for Welcome to Dean's School here. Okay. Next, we have... A little lady. A little lady. What did you get? Hmm, that's a fancy name. 
I just... Oh, this is Magi. Okay. Well, Ma Magi, but... Magi, whatever. Uh, you but... and your weird, not Japanese pronunciation. I'm sorry, but that's how you pronounce it in the technical setting of, of Magi. Magi. Magi, whatever! Um, because it's set in the Middle East, so it's Magi. It sure is. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's basically just magic. Yeah. Um, she's not the main so, character. I know that. Correct. Um, because I've seen sparse clips of, of uh, the show. Hmm. Um, but I haven't seen her. So, she's, she's definitely... If she's not a side character, if she's not a villain, she's a side character. Um, <laughs> but honestly, with how she, like, is holding herself, I'd say she's been an adversary of the main character before, but isn't always? If so that makes sense. Like it's... What was that? If that makes sense. <laughs> So then, say, are you going as, like, a neutral party or, like, a redemption arc? Or what, what exactly? Um, they fought in the past, but they're on neutral terms now. Gotcha. Um, so as far as my brain hole remembers, because it's been many years since I've seen this show, um, she's a, a, a friend. Okay. As far as I'm aware, she's, like, a friend the whole time. I know she starts off as a slave, though. Okay. And then I believe he just frees her, and that's why they're friends. Okay. Yeah, I've only seen... Like, I only have one picture of a person in my mind <laughs> from the show. Um, yeah. Maybe he'll show up in here, who knows. Potentially. <laughs> Her character, then, potentially. Yeah. So we got this guy? Yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Um, I know he causes quite a bit of trouble with the main character, so I'm going to say villain. <laughs> um, I remember him as a good guy. Really? Yeah. The clips I I've think... seen, he's hella hostile. So... <laughs> well, I think, it's, I think it's more of just he's kind of a dick. Okay. But he's not a bad guy. Okay. It's, at least that's the way that I remember it. Okay. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Yes. I just remember him being hella hostile in, like, the clips I've seen of, of the show. Yeah. I mean, it, if my memory serves, when they first were meeting, um, he didn't want anything to do with the, the main characters because he was like, I'm trying to go on my own adventure. Mm -hmm. Go away. <laughs> and they're like, we need to come into this temple as well so if I can get over it. Yeah. <laughs> so he was just kind of... Un unnecessarily hostile. Yeah, the cl the clip I I've seen is him like confronting the main character about something. I I can't remember. Yeah, but he so he, well. he had major douche vibes at the time. So. I want to say this is like a 2014 when I watched it. So that's that's why I really can't recall. Okay. Yeah, and then I watched um, the Adventures of Sinbad, that character, mm -hmm. uh, whenever that came out. But it was, as it was airing when I watched that, so it's still many years ago. Isn't that the main character? It sure is. <laughs> as you can tell by his uh, small childlike body. Yes. <laughs> um, and then we got this guy. I feel shamed. <laughs> Why? Because I'm almost certain he's a villain, but he's good looking. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I'm almost positive that he's a villain because he's good looking. So I mean, either, either option. <laughs> well, you would be correct. He is, in fact, a villain. <laughs> it's really funny, though. Yeah, um, it's like, oh, instant attraction. That's, that's a villain. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, look. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. We got. Let's see. Should we go with the first picture or the second? I don't care. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I just I don't have a preference. <laughs> then this one. Started as a villain. He's <laughs> currently an ally. <laughs> it's from um, Mob Psycho 100. It sure is. And this is Dimples. <laughs> it sure is. I only know that because we watched that episode recently. I know. I remember the best thing the episode you showed me that one time before we actually watched the series together. He oh. was a villain, but then he became a friend and then he died. He died? If I remember correctly, yeah, he died. Robert died. Okay. Yeah, he like sacrificed his life to save somebody. He didn't die. I'm almost positive he died. He did not. <laughs> but you are correct. He was in fact a villain to ally of sorts. I think his boss beat the shit out of him though. <laughs> um, I mean, more specifically, it was just he was a shut in and and the villain guy was like, hey you, come with me. Yeah. He's like, okay. <laughs> For the most part. So he was basically just working as a secretary and didn't really understand that the guy was evil. Mm. He was just like, I don't know. He told, boss man told me if I stay under this umbrella that the bad thoughts will stay away. Mm. And then he sacrificed his umbrella. Uh, it was his umbrella that died. <laughs> The umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> All right, those are the only two mob cycles I had for sure. Okay. All right, so now we have uh, that's from One Piece, isn't it? It sure is. <laughs> oh boy, he's flam uh, flamboyant. Um. Uh... I'm definitely going to say villain because he's not part of the crew. Uh. <laughs> you would be correct. He is in fact a villain. He's very pink. He is very pink, yeah. He he likes his giant feather boa thing. Yeah. There's a lot of interesting villains in <laughs> One Piece. Yeah. There we go. We're just making my list a little bit better. Alright, and on to our next person. If I could actually get that to go properly, there we go. Also from One Piece, and I'm pretty sure he's one of the crew members, so he is a um he's a he's a good guy. So your uh logic was incorrect. He is not a crew member. He's not? I swear to god he's a crew member. We meet him in the first episode, and he becomes a marine. The um, sworn enemy of pirates. Oh. Um, um, but, <laughs> but because of the fact that Luffy rescued him from a pirate boat, he is forever a friend. Okay. <laughs> and so you gotta he's, remember over his, he's over there living his best marine life, but if it comes to Luffy, he's just like that. You gotta remember that, you know, for me to get through, like, the first, like, I guess, season... I only got like maybe five or six episodes deep. I was listening to it because the art style was just really throwing me off. So, <laughs> I mean, um, but I mean, so you at least saw the first episode, so you saw where Kobe. I listened to the first episode. <laughs> oh, so you don't know what it looks like? <laughs> well, I, I attempted watching the first episode like five times. <laughs> Maybe. But and the only way I got through it was by listening to it, like. I mean, just make it an audiobook, I guess. Yeah, that's basically what I've been doing with One Piece. Alright, then we got... Right here. Yeah, he's adorable. He's part of the crew. He's One Piece. He is, in fact, part of the crew. Isn't he the medic? He is. <laughs> He is the Tony Tony Shopper, the doctor on board. Because when they found him, they were like, hey, you're cool. And a doctor. We need one of those. <laughs> yeah. Come with me. 
See, when can I get to this animation style? Because this animation looks a lot better. <laughs> How far um, do I have to dive in? <laughs> I mean, you meet Tony Tony Chopper whenever you get to the very snowy wasteland. Whatever, wherever that is, I don't remember. I remember um, watching a fight scene from around there, and that was like, according to Sid, was like 400 episodes deep. So... Well, I mean, it depends, because there's two different snowy places they go to. Oh. Uh, um, because by the time you get to Chopper, you've already gotten um, Sanji and Dusop and them. But it's before you get Frankie, I believe. I can't remember what Frankie looks like, but it's fine. Frankie is the person I decided not to add. That's Frankie? Yes. Ah. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't remember. Because um, the snowy area scene that I watched was with um, the cigar villain. I can't remember mm. who he is. Well, that was a sandy area. That wasn't snowy. No, it was snow. Because that was with Smoker. Yeah. And it was very desert there. I remember correctly, they were in a fight in the fucking mountains. I mean, maybe they fight fight again. I, don't, I just don't remember. I don't know, but this is when Smoker died. Oh. <laughs> I don't recall. <remember. laughs> it's been too many years. Too yeah, many. Years. It's been like three years since I've watched an episode, and I was on like episode seven hundred. So. It was one of Sid's favorite uh, fight scenes from One Piece, so she sent me the clip of it. Um, because um, the dude with the hat, I can't remember his name, the, the crew member with the hat. The main character? <laughs> no, not not Luffy, it was the other one. Um, I have no idea his defining characteristics. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't even know his hair color? No. Is he a skeleton? No, he's not a skeleton. Which one? Um... None of them. Helpful. I don't know who you're talking about then. <laughs> it's none of those. He's got the- I think it's the big green hat. Big green hat? Yeah, I think it's green. It's like a- it's like a lean back hat. Might be yellow, I'm not sure. It's got a pattern on it. Oh, oh, oh. It's a hat with a pattern on it. It's big. It's one of his more defining characteristics. Um, uh, is it uh, Trafalgar Law, maybe? Maybe. That sounds familiar. Yeah, it was him. I knew he had a patterned hat, but... <laughs> that was about it. It's definitely not green. It's definitely not yellow. green or yellow. <laughs> um, because he, he has a fight with Smoker. And, um, Smoker ends up dead in it. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> it's right there. Yep. It's that one. <laughs> and like I said, it's a snowy area. Yes. Um, That's I just scene couldn't remember where... I just couldn't remember that scene in specific. I more remember the general idea of the arcs that I watched. I don't remember yeah. a lot of specifics. Uh, um, it's, it's Sid's favorite fight scene in One Piece, so... Gotcha. Um, and to basically when you meet Doflamingo, Mr. Featherman, mm -hmm. um, is like twice as many episodes later. Uh. So, since since I'm already looking, um, you meet Chopper in episode 81. Okay. And then you meet, hey look, my guess was, was almost spot on, you meet Doflamingo in 151. Uh. Almost exactly two times later. <laughs> Impressive. All right, so back over to Discord so I can show you the next one. Okay. Sports anime? Nope. Is it one, not, one punch man? That's the word I'm looking for. Yes. 
that's what it was either sports anime or one punch. <laughs> um I'm guessing he's a hero in society. He is. Yeah. <laughs> um and then we have as a villain. <laughs> what gave it away? Uh the the ball and chain. <laughs> And the striped pajamas. <laughs> um, here, does uh, does this picture help you at all? Oh god. He flexes to where his clothes fall off. I am uncomfortable. Who's that? Person? He... Is that... That is the person I think it is standing behind him, okay? <laughs> it, is, it sure is the guy that Saitama punched in the nuts. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, everybody so technically likes this guy him. is a hero really he he just goes to jail because he can't stop himself from going after guys he thinks are attractive so he's a stalker <laughs> well you see um the sweater he's wearing in the first one was uh made by all the lovely boys from prison <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> but the problem is that if he thinks you're attractive, he flexes too hard and all of his clothes fall off because he flexed too hard. Um, and then he's telling you that he is attracted to you and you are terrified. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> and so he goes to gym. Yeah. For public indecency. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> he just happens to be a good guy with, um... With a, with a criminal record. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear god, sir. <laughs> could you have any more muscles? <laughs> I mean, he could be the other guy. You mean the one from, like, the, sec the second or third episode? What was that? You mean the one from- the guy from the second or third episode? Who crushed his brother on accident? <laughs> no, no, not him. Um, I was going for the the hero that has a lot of muscles, but I do not remember his name, and these gifts are not helping me. One moment. Oh, I remember his name. <laughs> his name is Black Luster, and his whole thing is that he has a lot of muscles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay, on to the next. <laughs> on to the next one. Yes. This is the last category in our medium section. Okay. Let's see, I will show you this person first. And I I will uh, not tell you the anime title just yet. Um, is it a historical piece? Kind of. Okay. Historical with a twist. <laughs> Basically. But it's not FMA. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> um I am gonna go with villain. Any uh any reasons for that? I don't know why, but I'm thinking of like Cold War vibes and him being Russian. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so then we have this one. That's a German. <laughs> you would be correct. <laughs> That's got main character vibes and I'm not sure I'm happy with that main character. <laughs> you don't like it? I don't know, she's she's interesting, but I don't think 
I think the main character has some bias. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I think we're looking at the story from the villain's point of view. <laughs> well, but since it's from her point of view, though, if, if she is the main character. Yeah, if she is German, she's German and he's <laughs> Russian. Yeah, he's definitely the villain and she's the hero in her opinion. <laughs> um, so, to give a little bit of context, um... Her name is Tanya. Okay. Last name, Degrushev. Hard to pronounce because it's like German. You totally pronounced it in Japanese. Degrushev. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, and the anime title is The Saga of Tanya the Evil. So I was right that she is technically a villain to the world, but since it's coming from her point of view, everyone else is the villain. Yes and no. Um, oh. <laughs> I have one last character for you. Okay. What? <laughs> God? <laughs> For obvious reasons, I couldn't find a picture of him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um. Thanks. Um. <laughs> Is she crusading a. a. <laughs> fucking holy war or something? So you think God's a villain? I think God has a positive opinion of her if that's what she thinks. <laughs> Wait, what? How do you explain? What do you mean by that? Those words do not come out in the order they were supposed to. <laughs> she has a positive opinion of God, but he does not like her. <laughs> it's actually the exact opposite. Really? He likes her and she said, fuck you! Go oh away, God! Well then. <laughs> I'm just concerned. So, for anyone who hasn't seen the first episode, <laughs> tune away now. Uh, so, the story is Tanya was working as a middle aged man, salary man, as a, like a um, wait, this is an easy like guy? Agent. This he, is like, an easy approves... guy? Wait a second. <laughs> uh, so he, like, approves whether or not people can get loans. Okay. He was waiting at the train station, as you do, um, when a disgruntled... Di disgruntled customer pushes him in front of the train. As time slows, because, you know, that happens as you're about to die, he hears the voice of God, and is then reincarnated as Tanya. Tanya is very upset with the way that these events have turned out, and so she has made it her life's goal <laughs> to do everything she can to have a good life, while also saying fuck you to God the whole time. Uh. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, then. And then, whenever she's in a bind, God's like, "Here's some power so you can win over your adversary." And she's like, "Oh wow, th fuck you, God! <laughs> How dare you!" And so God so, basically made it his life goal of to make her say, "Oh, thank you, I love you, God. Oh, thank you." <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit like um, the Yowie in disguise that we've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> Something <laughs> like she has a positive opinion of them and wants to force them to be nice to her and do her bidding, but they both hate her to death. <laughs> Wait, explain what you mean by that that part, so I can make sure that if you're if I can say yes or no. 
No, I'm referring to... Tyranology. Oh, yeah, um... Uh, she... She summoned them, remember? Hmm. And she gave them the world, and she has very uh, positive idea of, of them, I, and keeps giving them, like, powers and shit. Um, I didn't I didn't know which she you had meant, so I got confused. I the love goddess. Sonya at first. No, the love the goddess. Had mentioned. The, the love goddess. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. I got a cat. Yes, you do. He's cute. He's like... Are you a little bet me now? <laughs> Alright, on to the hard category. Okay. 